Oh, I'm so happy to play this. So happy to play this. Thank you for playing this preview of Pacific Drive. This demo is the introduction of the game and the first story mission. Save game data from the blah, 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 blah. interest in the game, and we hope you enjoy this taste of the Olympic exclusion zone. Yes. Even this main menu looks great. The design of this is so good. Lush forests, hiking trails, and scenic drives. Let's see what we have for settings. We have a lighting, tumble hiding. Close eyes when inside a tumbling car. Oh, <laughs> don't throw up. I'll leave that off for now, but... You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's bump up this FOV a bit. Car quirks. Quirks develop. Oh, these are modifiers. We'll keep all that standard for now. Uh, motion blur. All the way off, please. Vertical sync off. Uh, we might as well... Pop on some DLSS. Ultra, 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 ultra. Mirror fog, mirror grass rendering. Wow. Cascade shadow distance. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I've uh, I was pretty hyped for this game like as soon as it was announced, and uh, I've. Avoided, for the most part, seeing too much about it. I haven't watched too much gameplay. Um, and I'm super glad that this this demo is here for uh, Steam Next Fest, so. No clue how big this demo is or how long it is, but uh, let's hop in, huh? Memorable routes. Don't let her drive safe. All the menus in this so far, from the main menu to this save menu... There's so much like uh, there's so much sort of care and details already put in from the start. So uh, I think we kind of already looked over that. Go ahead and start. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. Duck, deliver, unload, clean. Kill? Whoa. South of the barrier wall. Okay, we got our wipers. We got... Gas brake reverse. Lights on. I feel like I'm sitting up, like, weirdly high. Alright, let's go. I feel like I should be, like, so much, like, lowered down to the steering wheel. But maybe that's just because I'm so short. Should I play this with a controller? Yeah, here we go. So much better, immediately. Whoa, 
but that looks cool. I assume we're driving up to the uh, to the wall right now. I don't know if we're going in to deliver something or if we're going in to get something to bring back. Music is great so far, though. Here's my lights. Getting like interference on the radio. That's cool. Wow. That sort of transition was super cool. Already getting weird. Don't know what that red light is up in the sky. <laughs> oh, oh, car got yimpied. Oh. Well, guess we're going inside now. My car like destroyed. Just pieces all over the place. This is probably the section that's gonna like teach me how to repair the car, huh? The Olympic exclusion zone. Oh! I pressed A and I sent it into orbit. Alright. Fine transportation. Well. have pieces of a car. Oh, we can crouch, which means we're either going to have to crouch underneath things or sneak around anomalies or something. Oh, probably to crouch under this. <laughs> Wait, I want to see if there's any little secret back here or something. Probably don't want to get in the water. Oh, this just leads me back up. Okay. That's what I did to the tire. Okay, it's actually a kick button. Hello? Someone out there? Hello? Hello? Uh, Hello? Uh, never mind. Freeze! 
Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Put the wheel back on. Hello. I'm a silent protagonist. I can't respond. That there inf interferometer. Well, let's see. Is there anything else around here I should? Hey, what's up? Hello. <coughs> they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they I mean they're from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? Uh, got warped. In ages and to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, you're a serious danger. The instability's calling yeah, I, in. I gathered that. Scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. He calls the shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can and be quick about it. Oh, I'm freaking pedal to the metal, baby. I'm ripping right now. Well, <laughs> ah, that was quick. Check your trunk for a fuel can. That's a oh, it's attached. Ew, oh, it's <laughs> that's a place to store it. The freaking goop on the side, great. Where did I get this pump from? Take anything else from this car? I like how this car is completely destroyed. It's just a skeleton, but the fuel tank is solid. Glug, glug, glug. Put that back in our, back in our little goop. Uh oh, definitely time to go. Definitely time to go. Definitely time to go. Ow! 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 ow. There it is again. That flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? Remnant's a pretty good game. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me it doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Yeah, dude, I'm ripping. Christ! No one's wheels in here for ages. I mean, it was just sitting in a in a garage. Oh, the drift! Drift King! I'm already gonna die. I'm gonna die because of this drift. Oh, I don't know where my health is. Oh, I've really, I've really botched it. Oh, it's a botched job. I got too freaking excited. I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. 
Oh, that looks like a shelter. Oh, it's... Is that supposed to happen? I don't think it is. I don't... Something seems... It seems off there. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and... Am I, like, dragging something? Ah. <laughs> I see. I have flat tires, uh, and I'm missing a tire. So... I see. Oh. Let's not look at that. Let's ignore that. Oh, it's like a lighting bug or something. Uh, how do we get in? Is that blood on my face or mud? Oh, there we go. He booby bop. Oh, jeez. I assume this is probably where I should park the car. What's up, bomb? What is this? Let's see what we got in here. Yo, VR? Put me in. Is this the Apple Vision Pro? Ooh, cool. Wait. I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're okay, great. And I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. New? Nope. I don't think so. Unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Well, your shop's already broken. It's glitching out. Uh. What? You need help? There's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. Oh. Give me. Give me. Give me. Is this not the headset? I'm trying to put the headset on. Can I put it on? Put it on? Pick up the backpack from the table. What? Oh. Put on mechanics eye. There we go. Yo, it is Apple Vision Pro. I've got... I can pass through. I can put <laughs> the diagnostics in front of me. Fix the car, you got it. Uh 
Put the wheel back on. That is a good start. Are there just like parts that are scattered out and about? Oh, is this where my wheel fell off? Put that in my backpack. I'm really going to try to avoid looking at this glitch so it doesn't... <laughs> okay, a freaking seizure. Go. Put the tire on. Open headset OS. Oh, I can see what's in my backpack. Oh, cool. To my hand. Logbook. Car abilities. Certain components and equipment that you will install in your car have abilities that need to be activated. You can assign controls to up to four of these using the small panel on the left side of your dashboard. Oh. In car controls. Let's fail. Honk the horn. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba. Car maintenance. You can. Yeah, we know about that. Bumpers. Whoops. First aid station. First aid station. Parking sensor. This advanced spatial recognition and pattern communicating light array may be the most advanced invention ever found in a garage, or may it just be a weight sensor? Who's to know? Wheels. Oh, my sweet summer tire. How little do you know about the rigors of the road ahead? Spare tire. A whole entire spare wheel. Movement and interaction. You can. Map controls. Okay. Um. Next is to take that off. I can remove the door. And then. I need to repair it. Although I guess I don't have any uh, door repairs here. You want to? I can be there for you and pick up all of the pieces. Ooh, yeah. We need some. We need some moody ambience here. What else can I do here? Add to your to-do list. Crude door. My to-do list. Jeez. Oh, maybe that... Wait, did I just warp through the fence? Oh, I did. Now I'm stuck back here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No. Hold on. There we go. Oh, oh. Stop. <laughs> just stop. Um, do I need to add that... Actually add that to my... To-do list or something? Somehow. Steel door, crude door, pin to checklist. There we go. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklists. Oh, then we can take off panels and doors and stuff from. Oh, okay, I see. Cool. Yeah, pry bar. Mechanics kit, some duct tape, and a pry bar. Take that, put it in our hand, uh, equip. Oh, and then we can rearrange stuff in there too. Oh, wow. One of the most useful and ubiquitous substances ever created, this handful of polymers has a thousand different applications and will likely outlive us all. Plastic. A bunch of plastic. Road flare. Useful in a pinch, this powerful potassium-based incendiary burns bright and burns brief, even in the wettest of conditions. Uh, transfer materials. There we go. Okay. 
Great. Scrap. Search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items you're unable to craft. A scrapper. Friendly dumpster. I. Thank you, friendly dumpster. And I guess that'll let me, like, scrap pieces that can't be used. Scrap the abandoned cars, wheels, panels, and doors. Okay. Oh, I threw it. Oh, and then I have to pick up individual pieces, I guess? Whoops, I threw it again. Why do I keep doing that? Uh. Oh, yeah, they have a kick button. Alright. Good grief. <laughs> Drop so much stuff on the ground. Uh, craft, a, craft a crude door in the shop. Okay, I guess there's a, like, a crafting bench. Oh, jeez. Where is the bench? There it is. <clears throat> crude door. Turn the page again. Go. Repair putty. Wait, what's this say about repair putty? When you don't have the time or the resources to perform extensive repairs, this is the spit and tape solution that will carry you through and fix up the worst of things. Uh, I mean, I might as well take all this stuff, right? Spare tire, throw that in the back. Oh, jeez. Crafting. Oh, I guess I can put like a little crafting bench there or something. Oh. Inventory full. Oh, there we go. Can I not put this in the? <laughs> it goes vertical as soon as I try to put it. Put it in there. What? I can't put this spare tire there. Put it in the back seat. <laughs> put it on the roof. On the hood. Alright, we'll drop that for now. <clears throat> Repair putty. Repair the car body. Lather that on there. Yep. Seems good. <laughs> Just dissolves the, that rust right off. Doesn't look too bad. Turn the page again. Turn the page again, my friend. Do we need tires? Put some put some goop on there. 
I guess that doesn't count as the car body. Uh, what am I? What am I missing? Oh, this half-destroyed door here. Right, okay. Scan the flat tire. Womp 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 womp. Ceiling kit. Pair the flat, uh, by crafting using a ceiling kit, or replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. I mean, we'll just... We'll just do this, right? Scan the loose wheel. Can't get. Do, do, do. Zone preparation. Looks great. Except for those missing panels. It's all cardboard boxes in the trunk. Oh, so I can actually store stuff in there now. I see. Makes sense. There we go. Craft mat in the trunk. I'm, I'm glad it kind of makes these parts here kind of easy to to get going. Is that going to like turn towards me so I can see it in the car? <laughs> Tire in there. Throw all these bad boys in there. All this stuff. All of our materials. Uh, I'll keep road flares on me. Put that there. Go ahead and equip the pry bar. And then at the crafting mat, I can. Ingredients. Oh, you can craft like anything here. Okay. Uh, I might as well craft a panel. Because I'm missing some panels. Uh, ear blueprints. Scattering. Now, I kind of doubt this is going to reach all the way around to my tank. No, is it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just stretch over the hood, clip through the cart. There you No. Come on, it's so close. There we go. <laughs> that shouldn't work at all, but... Oh, it's gonna clip into my car and, like, freak out, probably. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Throw the switch to charge the battery. So much information. Is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye. It does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, 
course you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can no, always I get it. dive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, okay. you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. You got it. Uh, hazard types, map legend, route analysis, atmospheric shifts, anomaly density. There's all that in the legend really does not matter right now until we get the antenna, so. Three hour drive. That's our destination. Alright, let's get to it. Oh, it does turn towards me. Um, balls. <laughs> he shut the door. Get in. Please get me away from this. Away from this glitching. Hurting my brain. Please. Is that supposed to be a left out of the garage the other direction? Uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Since this is where I came from at the start. I don't think they expect me to back the car in <laughs> at the start. Inside the garage. Oh! Oh, please. Do 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 do. Now we're going. <laughs> Launching construction facility ahead. Volume warning, 80 plus decibels. Oh. Oh, I'm going to a different, like... Different area. Oh. Well, let me check my settings real quick, too. I'm getting some uh, low frames. Turn that on balanced. Leave all this on ultra. I think we're fine otherwise. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, yeah, all right. Newbie, I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. Thank you. A few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. Oh, jeez. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a reset spot tower. That's those antenna things zapping when you get too close. Look for a company by plasma generators. The Octavice is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Go ahead, send us a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator. Go to what you need. No place is safe. Great. Let's hop out. Good grief, that sound design is crazy. Impact hammer. <clears throat> Find these materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transport, smokes, outpost facilities. They've all been abandoned since 
It's a little hard to hear you. <laughs> It's a little loud. Ooh, flare gun. Sure, why not? Can I take a dump in here while I'm at it? It'll be a long drive ahead. I'd like to take a dump. Jeez. They are so quiet compared... I guess because I'm away from the car. So intimidating. Good grief. Hey. Alright, let's craft this impact hammer. I love the freaking rain, though. Uh, refine materials. I'll have to refine it into that, and then I can craft. Okay. Impact hammer. Ugh. It's not how I thought that would work. <laughs> Back here, anywhere? Yeah, here we go. Already smashed. Never mind. Oh, we should check out this, uh, these buildings back here before we go. Haha, <laughs> that's a scary sound. Okay. Ring, ring, phone. Don't need one of those anymore. Uh, radio. Consumer Electronics. Journal Fragment. Everyone's checked out of town at this point. The uh, last person left. will be gone by tomorrow, too. It's hard to believe this is once a community. Sure, we didn't have that much to show for it. Not much to offer visitors. No great sights or fame. Uh, uh, no great sights or famous landmarks, but. What? No, I was reading actually, but okay. Go ahead with your thing. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get 55 seconds of counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants is just scrap down the door. They bind themselves to people and and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now. So get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes <laughs> over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off. I'm freaking foaming at the mouth for this car. No one has ever been able to resist I'm salivating. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on and vac. But we know all about the past. Sodium vapor. Oh, gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle and the tea that came out of that thing. And now, I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to. Um, I'm just going to let that fly away from priority, me. I need just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. That's good, thank you. I like how they're literally like... Yeah, we're not going to actually pester you with a ton of, uh, talking, so it'll be just coming through the car. <laughs> Is that going to shock me? I'm just going to get out of here. I didn't put the car in park. I didn't put the car in park. There we 
we go. That's what we need. Well, looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Uh, I still need a bumper panel and door. Wait, did I need another panel? Yeah, for here, right. Here we go. Uh, then we need a bumper and a door. Let's go ahead and make our door. Beautiful. And do I have enough for a bumper? No. Air tire, a gear. Bumper needs duct tape. Okay. All right, we're good to go, though. Okay, the radio station. I assume it's just a lot further down the road here. I could scrap a uh, car here. That's fine without uh, parking, right? Yeah, it looks fine. Oh, that actually gives me duct tape to do that. That sounds bad, whatever that is. Not good sounds that I'm hearing. Probably taking like too long too by scrapping everything. I don't know. Although this is the beginning, so I assume they're not going to be too like brutal right off the bat. Um, let's see if I can craft that bumper though. Nice. Ow! Freaking bashed my skull. Let's go. Actually put on a turning signal. <laughs> oh, I'm like sliding as well. I thought that sound was a turning signal. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know, but I assume those those bots are out to kill me, so. So these abandoned buildings are so creepy. I'm assuming nothing's going to be in these buildings to attack me, but I could be uh, could be wrong about that. Thing sounds real close out here. Hello. Ooh. Also, my tools are about to break. I don't know if I can. I don't know if there's a repair gear. Fuel lights, bumpers, panels, maintenance. No, it's car maintenance. I guess I just have to make another one when it breaks. Seems to be the case. All right. Let's see what's down the street. This little side path here. Oh, hold on, 
real quick as we get uh, a little further in the game. My my uh, frame rate's getting <laughs> getting worse. Let me full screen this and then we'll do that. Turn that down a little. Turn that down a little. What's my fuel looking like? Okay, we're okay. Uh... Huh? These actual, like... I'm going over to Big Dan's. <laughs> I'm scared. Big Dan, help. Help me, Big Dan. Big Dad, this place is scary, Big Dad. What are these? Are these people? Are these are like mannequins. Oh, they're like test dummies. Anomalies. Tourists. What? Circa 1976. Turns out you're right. We've had reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and uh, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations. Oops. One report says on a roof. About 600 now. Why can't I scroll? It will let me scroll. Or is that just the end? Oh, there we go. Quite right about the other thing, too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on that. Uh, be applying for a position in Portland now. <laughs> uh, there's one outside. I know for a fact it wasn't there before. They're just landmines. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Don't drive into that. I mean, I had to test for science, right? Can I scrap this down like this instead? Nope. <laughs> no, I cannot. That was the music. Yo, Campbell's? Use canned food. Uh, oh, it just gives me health, I guess? Sorry guys, real quick, let me, uh... Try and get some better frames here before we start driving again. I don't think I applied those settings. All right, well, kind of better. <laughs> I'm streaming and recording at the same time, so it's probably part of it. Um, all right, let's get out of here. I didn't close the trunk. Oh, well. We're leaving.
Uh, I'm finding the... Collect materials and craft replacement parts. Locate the radio station, right? Um... Radio station. Did I pass the... Oh, those are just, like, houses. Okay. Uh, that looks like radio station. Yeah, I know the trunk's open, it's fine. That radio station's up on a hill somewhere. Eyes to the horizon. You mean this hill that I'm driving up right now? Would you say? I don't know if this is the right idea. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about the beeping. There's probably a... R yeah, I guess the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess the road would have, you know, worked its way up here. Friendly dumpster? What is that? Oh, bumpers. Oh, just bumpers thrown in the garbage. Okay. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. Get you back oh, I can't garage, get in here? But it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the arc device display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the arc device to charge it. Uh, but all don't right. you worry your pretty little head about how it works. All it, right. So there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. We'll put that away. All right. We're good to go. Easy. Easy peasy, BB. Uh, there is one right around the corner. I'm going way too fast. <laughs> I'm about to learn. About to learn a lesson. Oh! That wasn't there on my drive up, was it? Unless I just completely didn't see it, but that seemed... I don't know if that was there. Uh, let's see, we're taking a right here. Avoid all this nonsense. What was that? Oh, I think that was me. Was it? That sounds like trees falling down. <laughs> it's so loud. Okay, no, I think that's something coming out of the trees. Yeah. Those anchors may look like what the f magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Let's Don't just do this real quick.
Mm. Um. Let's get in the car. Select the getaway coordinates on the map. Okay. Oh, I probably activated a little too soon. <laughs> Just as she was, you know, talking about. Probably should get a little closer first. Uh. Oh my! Back it up. <laughs> Just completely obliterate my car on the way back. Hey, first run. First run done. Breaking the door, though. We clear. All right, what do we got here? Numa tube. All right, let's see what kind of things we can craft in this game. Oh my. Okay. Your lockers make use of an extraordinary amount of underground storage space. Okay, so the antenna. Matter Deconstructor, Fax Machine, Frequency Analyzer, and Extractor Machine shouldn't be receiving anything. Is it even hooked up to phone lines? Creepy. Athletic Stimulation Station, or ASS. <laughs> it's such a generously sized target, how difficult it could it be to score a few points? It's a basketball hoop. It's ASS. It's an ASS hoop. Great. Very good. <laughs> Uh, whoa, too many menus. So the antenna on the roof. I think the, uh, good, the glitch here is fixed as well. I'm not running this on a SSD right now, as which is probably, you know, would be helpful in terms of the glitchiness there at the beginning. Really uh, scrapped that together, huh? Car maintenance. The handbrake from the back room storage locker. You know, I was wondering earlier as I was driving, I was like, is there a button for handbrake? Uh, it's because I didn't have one. Root panel, bumper, handbrake. Friendly dumpster. Jeez. Thank you, dumpster. Thank you, base dumpster. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route ladder. Give it a look after you're done peeping through 
my garage. Thank you for playing this preview of Pacific Drive. Oh, that's the end. You won't be able to leave on your next drive, but you're free to explore the auto shop, the route planner, and take a spin on the test track behind the garage. Save game data from this preview will not be compatible. It's fine. We've enjoyed your time. I did. I did enjoy my time. Very, uh, very solid game. I wish I was getting, uh, better FPS, but beyond that... Um... Yeah, we're all, like, patched up. But, uh, yeah, that was good. Let's see what the next route would look like. Ooh. Oh, cool. I'm, uh, I'm very glad there's a, there's a demo for this. This is cool. Is this made in... Oh, this was made in... Is this made in Unity or... Unreal Engine. I think it was made in Unity. Dang. Between this and... Uh, both this and... Um, Star Trucker are two games that I just want in VR. Although... You know, with this, if the frame rate's not good enough, driving around and getting like attacked by anomalies and stuff might make me might make me barf in VR. But uh this is really good. I might have to uh might have to pick this up. I think it's on sale right now before the release. Um So uh, I might have to grab this or Star Trucker. Maybe both? I don't know. Uh alright, rowdy. That was good.